as we have that ball go up. Game is on. Tip off brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. We all heard about the issue no, surrounding Mikey Williams when he was suspended for one week. But he was in that team building the team that they had over the weekend. We're going to get a full report on Mikey Williams and team management's, management's position regarding him from Apple David on the first opportunity that they get. The energy he's still able to put on the floor, especially at his age. Easy to mo yung energy kukunin nila do sa mga bata, but it's scaly with steals like that, with put back jams. So far, so good. So far, so good. You're right. Um, Here's an attempt again by Ali Malixi. Dalawa na yan, two field goals. Ang Meralco naman, in their three wins, they've held their opponents to an average of 93 points. So what's gonna, what's gonna happen in this game? Will it be the offense? And he would rather play the power forward or maybe even the three spot. And that would give Raymond Almazan a lot of opportunities to score and also to control the game with his rebounding. Banquero rushing to their side. Maaga pinasok ni Coach Norman Black si CD. He gets that ball. The floater. Pasok agad para kay Banquero. Maliksi has four of the eight points ng Meralco. Para naman sa TNT, tatlo yung nag-ambag dyan. Dito two points sila Mikey, Roger Pagoy, and Cameron Oliver. Sabi ni Mikey, hindi. Gusto ko mag-leading scorer. Biglang bumagal yung scoring din. No? Nag-start tayo. Halos di magbintis yung mga teams. Eh. But now... TNT is actually 4 of 7. Meralco 5 of 14 now from the field after that basket from Banquero. Now what about Banquero? Pakalawang floater na yan. This game, and yeah, it's a, a great sign no, talaga for TNT. And yung pagkakataon na din na mag-team building, especially palapit na tayo sa playoffs. Mm -hmm. Pinanood nila yung uh, Gila's game, midnight. Live yun. So, walang tulugan. Tila, and they were so happy that the Nakpanan and Gila should have But well, look at Meralco. Pito na lamang nila dito with 4 and 37 remaining. Aaron Black has been struggling from uh, the three-point distance. He's shooting only 18.2% from that distance. And Calvin Octana hitting TNT's first three-point shot. Castro gusto rin ang tres. Chase oh, yes. and knocks it down. That guy still has it. Ito, one point na lang ang lamang ng Meralco and Poyera taking the three-point shot and oh, got it, got it, that's a three. From starting out, zero for five, they've made their last three three-pointers. But oh, what an attack for Banquero! Down the baseline, but he's hurt! So in this open conversation, Mikey expressed how he didn't appreciate being called a bad teammate. Paliwanag ni Jolas, what he meant was that not showing up on practice is a bad example to your teammates. It's unfair. They were able to clear things out, and after this, they were able to destroy that barrier. They, they want to make it clear that nothing is imposed on Mikey Williams. Everything is his initiative moving forward. Sabi nga natin, second, third string players. Ito si Mikey Williams. Oh, he backs it in! Wow! Oh, that's what Meralco didn't want to happen. Here's the baseball pitch. Parang pa-contract na yun ng uh, Gilas, ha? Huh? Remember, we were once ranked number 27 sa FIBA. Fell down to 34, now 41. And Cam Oliver hitting it from outside. Short dun sa tres niya. Nung nahuhulog na yung tres ng TNT, dun naman nawala yung mga tres ng Meralco. And look at Jason Castro. That's chicaning from the defense team. Anjo Cara. Uh, yung goal kasi ng offensive player, pag ginuhok na ganun, is really to draw a foul. Look at Anguazan, sky high for the tip. But so for you to be able to penetrate, then that's a that's a big sign and that opens up an opportunity for Almazan for the offensive people. Ito na naman si Mikey Williams. That's two triples now in the game for Mikey. KJ McDaniels oh, yes. down the lane! As sinabi nga natin kanina about his penetration, he did it again and this time making sure. Oliver, powerful rebound for him. Castro, big game Williams. Titira naman ang tres. Oh, That's yes. another one. Go back to the basic, stick to the fundamentals, something that they were able to do successfully in the past two games. The back to you guys. Well, they finally get the three-pointer there. They have, uh, TNT has now hit seven three-pointers against three for the right. But AB is starting to go to work here. Oftana. 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 Oftana.
for TNT. Actually, 0-5 nga nagsimula yung TNT. And then, since then, 8 of 9 na din. Isa oh. lang minintis sa huling siyam na binaw. Pero ito rin si KJ. Pangalawang tres niya na yan. He's got 8 points. And here's Cam Oliver. He's got it right back. Let's say it. Let's call it what it is. It's oh. a shootout inside a big goal. Ito, tumatakbo na naman. And Aaron Black finishing the job. Aaron Black, who has been feeling it, he's got seven in this game. McDaniels, Bibito, and Man. Oh, that's a nice three pointer for him. Aaron Black realizing that KJ McDaniels has that kind of shot. Doesn't need to roll because he can pop. Pero, kita mo parang napakadali kay Cameron Oliver sa ilalim. In those three wins of Maralco, Maliksi has averaged 15.7 points. So between Maliksi and Hodge, they're averaging 30 points a game. Daniels, another three-pointer. We'd love to know your thoughts. May sama na sa ating usapan. At gusto sumama ni Cam Oliver sa usapan din. Walang timetable kung kailan siya makakabalik. Kasi de-depende ito sa kanyang symptoms and how he feels about the injury. Balik sa inyo. Thank you so much, Apple. Yun yung mahirap lang talaga, Daddy. Ngayon si Jose, pinasok ni Coach Norman Black. Para siya yung bumantay kay Cameron Oliver. Pero sa palagad si Raymar. They can review that though and that will probably count. Pero TNT at this point has to play defense. And they score it. They score the basket. Before it is reviewed, before it can be reviewed in, in other leagues. Oh, McDaniels! On top of Oliver for the putback. Alam mo yung mga San Miguel players will be playing the second. Wow! It's a dunking spree! KJ has 18 points. And I'm counting three, at least three dunks by KJ McDaniels. At hindi na magpapatalo si Cam Oliver. At TNT, lamang ng lima at the end of the first half, 54 to 49. They've improved their free throw shooting, but Pogoy has knocked it on target. So two check marks. What about the 40-year-old machine gun, Kelly Williams? Bravo on the run, but TNT fast to get down on defense. Alpazan with a lefty throw down. Mikey going to Oliver. And what a screen provided by Oliver that time against a high-octane offensive machine like TNT. Nagkamalido ng TNT and Black will capitalize on the other side. Early part of the third quarter in TNT because of the defense of Maralco. And here's another... Oh! And he will score! Wow, Kelly Williams staying with it. Si Kelly yung kanina pang task no, na bumantay sa import ng Meralco. And Black with a tip in. Pogoy shot has been off today. Oh, great passing by the Bulls! Easy two points yun para sa kanila. Well, apat na rin lang naman yung inahabal na Meralco because they've made some strides here in the third quarter of Tana Sapal kay Almazan. Again, yung defense ng Meralco stopping that layup siya. McDaniels for three, knocks it down. Meralco is within one. And what about this block here by Almazan? And then the easy two points on the other end. Quinto, Castro switching on to him. Bong Quinto, Sapal, Kipoyera. When you go up for a jump shot against a taller defender. Pero look at that! Aaron Black, what a perfectly executed inbound play. 64 all tied dito. Dito ba si KJ Magdanyan, nagdadala ng bola, and he'll go up. Wow! What a miracle shot from Magdanyan. From that pressure defense, now now they play a 2-3 zone defense. Umaliksi is the perfect zone buster. Oh yes, you said it, you said it. Played in several countries. But KJ McDaniels still gets excited playing in the PBA. Oh, he will be excited kapag yung mga pasa niya ay nagiging three-pointers. With the time running down, he knows he's the go-to guy. So mas kinapapano, he'll try to make that shot. Oh, look at him. Big boy mo para kay Gera. Pogoy. Falling away. Masok pa rin. One of his very few baskets in this game. And uh, they're just sitting on a one-point cushion. At yung dalawang pangalan na yun, Nadine, sila yung mga leading scorers ng first half. Siya na yung second leading scorer ng TNT now after their import Cameron Oliver. 
Keto falling away. Whoa. Tough shot is good. A beautiful pass. What an execution. And the pass coming from Chris Panquero. Nasila Sapin at Maralco. Gotta make that assist pass. Gotta look for that open man. Castro, nagahanap ng malulu sutan. It's Kobuntin now attacking. Kobuntin up and over Almazan. Tumatak buna naman ang Meralco Quinto. Goes to Banquero, who gets the two points, gets the lead back for the ball. So, the, you know, for Hoopers talaga, nakakatawarin yung mga kwentong magkikita pa rin sila. Oh, Almazan sends that one back! He also has eight rebounds and has contributed 11 points. And Quinto again with that sweet jumper. Pag makarating niya kasi yan within maybe eight feet of the basket, I'm interesting. Uh, I'm interested in the fact that. Oh, wow. what a block shot coming from Cameron Oliver. Oliver, Oliver returns uh -huh. the favor. Uh -huh. And look at this. Oh, like offensive rebound coming from Aaron Black. Kasi nasabi natin yung intensity level effort niya. And Pantero is doing a magnificent job in distributing the ball. But dito sa ating second half, nawala. Nawala yung kanilang three-point shooting. Na. Here's one, here's one coming up, and he got it. Three, two, three. You know, Mikey si Chris Banquero, they've been talking. Meralco, Almazan with a three-point play opportunity. And now he fits into this team. McDaniels is in the center. So now he's giving Raymond Almazan the opportunity to do what he can at the center spot But Oliver. Here's Black, but guess who was there? Almazan now with a double double. Cameron Oliver. And uh, look at that rejection by KJ McDaniels. But this is a lot of basketball time left. McDaniels rejected at the rim. Ball will still go Maralco's way. 4 and 54 mark pa yung tira pa ni Raymond Almazan kanina. So, this is favoring Meralco, obviously, dahil lamang sila. Mikey Williams breaks his silence with a midi. It's winning time inside the big dome. Aaron Black floats it up and over the defense. And that's why you mark X on that uh, priority. Ito naman si Almazan, ang maganda. Oh, what a, what a shot! A jump hook by Raymond Almazan gives him a seven-point lead. They are up by seven. Castro, gusto ilapet. Oh, yes. He, he knocks down the three. Jason Castro replying with a big three point shot. They have to give up the foul. He's a 67% shooter. He knocks down that first one. It's a five point lead now for Meralco. Black calmly sinks both free throws. Williams has it. Looking for another three point shot. Malayong presyon and that will be it. At ang ating final score is 97 to 91 in favor of the Brown Bulls. Yan ay hindi sa inyo na Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Maraming salamat sa pagtutok ninyo sa PBA dito lang sa TV5.